Hi everyone, my name is Bethany Root, and this is a poem called Only Human, written in response to my good friend Chesley Ellen Oxendine's video project called Talk To Me. Basically, it's a challenge passed along like a chain letter. If you get tagged in a video, you have three days to post another video on Facebook or YouTube tagging more of your friends. The video can be anything from a poem to a song to you just talking to the camera. The point being that you express part of yourself that people don't usually see, something true or deeper than surface conversation or Facebook statuses. Really use it as an opportunity to be honest with the world, but don't forget to take a second to explain the idea of the project to everyone who sees the video. I'll post a link to Chesley's original piece and um, challenge as well as my tags in the comments. So without further ado, here's Only Human. Dear Soliloquy, you are my greatest promise. My biggest lie, I hold you out to the masses singing, look at this, listen to my song, my story, heartbeat hammering out djembe didgeridoo, dowries laced with diamond spell and symphony C. The wordplay whispers clear and dear to me, showing you just what to see, but my face in the mirror pleads guilty to please. I spin gossamer beauty around me like a spider, black mascara veil thick enough to hide bloodshot eyes. Inside I'm a widow of the soul. Controlling my fear is folly that belies insecurity, tells me you're not good enough, you're not girl enough, and you aren't strong enough to handle him if he ever comes along. No, the sin in the cipher is that behind the windshield wipers striping the dash with whiplash vision is a little girl at the wheel, sans license to live because she never gave herself permission nor had the vision to. Dear ambition, you saturate my spirit with wet fire like oil that burns on the surface of the smear. Fuel beneath the action and let the games begin in a fraction of a second. You know what the future holds. Gold and silver stories told in stone. I go home to quiet corners and hear your voice from the shadows like a whisper when there's nothing but the darkness and the pace of my heart and dreams splitting at seams of streams of reality while you bring me joy and agony, lust for what's in front of me but never in my reach, present but outpacing me by miles and dollar bill signs. Will I ever know you really? You're the masked man in the van, the ghost in the mirror, the devil in desire. I'm on fire with it, and my smile is dying to fit the mold you're flashing me, but I'm singing sharp to your tone and it's killing me, chalkboard chagrin thinning a skin of perfectionism till the blood bursts the vein, breaks the spine spun with threads too heavy for my frame. It's an insane train, a game, set, match that you bet against me. Ace of spades, a power trip, flipping my heart around while you loose me from a ground I'm true to, bound to you, and this is not really me. Dear consistency, when did I lose you? What bruise or fuse did I blow to choose instead an enemy that rings me round the rows of goals, a death hold that steals adequacy? Dear happenstance, when did you find me? Dear confidence, do I have the ability? Dear future, are you in store for me? Dear heart of mine, where did you hide in me? Dear reader, if you hadn't guessed, if you didn't realize I am not this face, this maudlin turn of gears, even for given the many driven home stories of my years, I have found within me the time and tears of sen the time and tears a series of questions haunting me, maybe even honing me by stunting pride and perjury, forgeries formed by minds unfazed by destiny. Yes, on me is the seal of life. It's a burden and a strife, but be we gods or mice, suffice it to say that this is right. In human nature, we find the fight for truth, and youth, youth is wasted on the young. So let me be gray, ingrained, and stained by experience that fills me with these fragment doubts like flavors, savor me like wine, and you will find my favor. No, it's true. Smile and say you're not ransomed to that flame, that fire that questions everything you are, that you desire, and I will leave you. I want you written in. Don't pretend perfection or the inflection of a gavel-wrapping judgment from my blink of surprise will blind you. I will find in you your faults, for hindsight is my crystal ball, and the vault of letters written to my sins will raise a din to end your grin. Please, learn from me. Don't pretend and send out lies that rise to mountains you can't climb. I'm proof of presence, if not peace, with imperfection, and the complex flex of my direction spells a path to an affection for who we really are truly only human. Thank you.